All right, uh, so this is going to be pretty easy. The, the last section, lesson four, the last section in the probability that we're going to work on, uh, give you a couple of basic pointers here, and you should be able to complete the whole thing. Uh, the very first question, the ready, uh, is one half times two thirds. Now you have to remember when you multiply fractions, uh, your rules for what you can and can't do, and the same with like addition and uh, when we set them equal to each other. So there's a couple of different things uh, that you have to pay attention to. And what they are is when you multiply, that should be easy. You just multiply straight across. So this would be two over six, and then from there you would reduce to get one third. Or you can cross cancel before and multiply across and you still get one third. You, so you can either reduce before and not after, or you can reduce after. When you add, that's when you have to have a common denominator. And you don't just add the top and add the bottom. You have to find a common denominator, and then you have to add. Over here, we're saying, are these equal? No, anytime we ever did uh, proportions like this, one of these usually was a variable and we cross multiply. Uh, and then when you move to number seven, number seven has the probability of A, which says 3 fourths. It gives you the probability of B, which is one half, and then it says this, probability of A, probability of B, and what is it asking you to do? It's asking you to multiply these. It's almost kind of like function notation in a sense, if you remember that. Um, so this would be three-fourths times one-half, which is three-eighths, and that's how you complete that. Uh, moving on to the go. Right. I'm going to help you with two of these, and then you can do the third one. In the go, the very first one is fill in the table. Uh, this is question number 12. It's pretty self-explanatory. 85 minus 30. 5 is 50. 50 and 50 is 100. 176 is 176. 76 minus 35 would be 41. 50 and 41 would be 91. Right? I know I went through that pretty quick, but it's pretty basic. Now when you get into the probabilities, what's the probability of 10th given biking? The probability of 10th given biking. Well, biking is my total population, so that's 85. And the probability of 10th biking is 50. So there's your ratio there, 50 over 85. How about swimming given 10th? or given 11th, excuse me. Well, 11th is my total population, so that's 76. And swimming at 11th is 41, so there's my ratios there. And you should be able to answer the question, are 11th readers more into biking or swimming? So you give a short statement as to uh, which one you think it, it is and why. And then we move on to the last one here. And the reason why I'm covering the last one is because uh, of the second statement right here and we'll talk about it. So now we go in and we fill. 85 minus 10 is 75, right? 75 and 20 is 95, 95 and 60, 155, 60 minus 10 is 50, 20 and 50 is 70. If you add 85 and 70, you should get 155, and 95 and 60, you should get 155. Well, given probability right here. So cake is my total population. So 70 divided by, or actually below that, and it's teen given cake. Well, teens given cake is 20, and we reduce this to 2 over 7, right? Now, the last one, this is the main one I wanted to talk to you about. Since we have an or, right, in and or or probabilities, your denominator is always the total number of people that you are serving. So if it's adult or ice cream, the and or or is always total population. Now, and or or, that's the difference. And, and is always the intersection. And I think it's, you can see it up on the board there. Probably not. Um, you should be able to. And is always the intersection. So let's look at what we have here. Adult and ice cream, if that's what it said. Adult and ice cream. That would be 10, because that's where they intersect. If I drew two lines, one here, one here, that would be 10 out of 155. But it doesn't say and, it says or. 
So how do we get that? Well, I'm going to look at adults, which is 60. And how did we get the 60? We got 10 plus 50. Plus, I need to add the ice cream, which is 85. And how did I get the 85? 75 plus 10. And I show these because you can see which number got counted twice. Well, I have to take out what got counted twice, which is 10. So 60 plus 85. And you can take off one of these because it got counted twice. When we do, we go back, we get a total of 135. So 135, and we reduce with by 5, okay, because anything ends at a 5, uh, over 27 over 31. And then you can uh, answer the question there. So that's, uh, that's the ready and go in a nutshell.